thank you Irene for joining us for this interview so like I mentioned earlier you can just briefly tell us what you understand by media freedom and if at all you are free as a student journalist to operate freely to to get interviews and information without any harassment okay from my understanding media freedom uh, this is the freedom of a journalist or any media personnel uh, to 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 have access to any information at any given time this is the freedom that gives us journalists to interview any person without the fear of being harassed yes that's what i understand okay as a student um, journalist have you ever been harassed before in your line of work no i've, I've not experienced any harassment so far so would you say that you are freely here in Choma, journalists are free to collect uh, information, whatever kind of information that they are looking for without any harassment? Yes, uh, I can say yes, we are free to get any information, but also it depends with the kind of information that you want to have access to. So there are certain information that are very strict, so uh, I don't think they can be able to give you such information, unless if you are dealing with uh, lighter data information or issues so which information is uh, a bit restrictive when it comes to accessing it okay from what I've experienced if you're dealing with a story let's say if you want to interview people in the in the police in the police sector or maybe in the health sector and that's where I find most challenges and also in the teaching sector because you find most people in those industries they don't really come out and talk unless maybe someone who is higher in authority that's when they can give out information so yes when you're dealing with uh let's say hospital police and teaching sectors mm, okay so what is your general view um on media landscape in zambia ah uh, i can <laughs> i think i can say it depends okay 